Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Dr. K. Prime Primer video lecture series presenting by Dr. K. Prime. That's me. In today's lecture, we'll talk about uh, cohesive ends and blunt ends. The only difference between the cohesive ends and blunt ends are the shape of the complementary strand. The shape of the complementary strand. In case of cohesive ends, one of the strand is little longer than the its complementary strand. You see, 5 prime to 3 prime, 3 prime to 5 prime. The 3 prime to 5 prime strand is 4 nucleotides longer than the 5 prime to 3 prime strand. So this, these 4 nucleotides are unpaid. These 4 nucleotides are unpaid. Right? So the end which is having the unpaired single strand nucleotides are called as uh, cohesive ends. And the two strands are unequal in length. One of the strand is little longer than the other strand. When it comes to the blunt ends, both strands are in equal size. Right? You see, here, end is having uh, 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 two strands are in equal length. There is no single strand overhang unpaired nucleotides. Right? Hence, they are called as blunt ends. So, the blunt ends are equal in length, whereas cohesive ends are not equal in length. They have unpaid or unpaid nucleotides, that single strand. Right? So, we will see the definition of cohesive ends and blunt ends in the next slide. Here you this is a cohesive end and this is a blunt end. Here we can see the definition of cohesive end and the blunt end. Cohesive ends to release the DNA fragment from its uh, source, two phosphodiester bonds breaks are required. Two phosphodiester bonds breaks are required. Right? So one Cohesive ends cut at one end, cut at one end between two bases on the same strand. The second cut at opposite end of the complementary strand. One cut, one cut at one end between the two bases on the same strand and second cut at opposite end of the complementary strand. A four nucleotide overhang at one end of the DNA fragment form, which is ready to form a hydrogen bonds and any. These are called sticky ends. Blunt ends cut between the two bases at same place in the duplex DNA leads to symmetrical breakdown of the DNA. So in cohesive ends, Two phosphodiester bonds are breaking at different places. They are opposite ends. That's why they are forming the single strand O ranks. But blunt ends are two phosphodiester bonds are breaking at same place in the duplex DNA, leads to the formation of symmetrical uh, breakdown of the DNA. We will see the how they are forming in the next slide. This is the linear DNA, which is having two restriction sites. One is a eco R1, this is a restriction site. And this is a small one restriction site. So here, I'm showing the phosphodiester bond. This is a, one of the phosphodiester bond. You all know that in each strand of the DNA, nucleotides are connected by the phosphodiester bond. Unless you break down the phosphodiester bond from the each strand, then only that DNA fragment is released from that the source. Otherwise, no, right? So, phosphodiester bond is the backbone of uh, DNA. You see, 
So passport dash bond is uh, indicated here, magenta color. Right, this is a, one of the passport dash bond. Eco organism in the, in the uh, digestion restriction digestion restriction endonucleases are uh, first they'll scan the DNA and binds to the its restriction site, then followed by the cleavage. So scanning, binding to the restriction site, then followed by the cleavage. We'll see them. Eco organism identified its restriction site. That's a GAA, PTC. Then SMA1 identifies its restriction site. That's a CCC, GGG. Then eco hormone digests the two strands and leaves the cohesive ends. You can see here first, to, first cut at the, at the one end one end, this is a one end, between the two bases, between the two bases, you see, first cut at the one end between the two bases of same strand, two bases of, this is a one strand, here you can see, first cut between the two bases of same strand, first cut, right, this is the first cut, and the second cut, Opposite end, this is a one first cut. Second cut is at, at the opposite end of complementary strand. Opposite end of complementary strand. You see, because of that, you get a cohesive ends. Means two strands in equal length. One strand is having four nucleated extra, that's a single strand and unpaid. This is called as a cohesive end. And you see here SMA1 digest the DN2 password dash bond at same place. One first, first password dash bond breakdown and second, second cut. Right? Then releases the strands here you can see these are the uh, because of uh, sma1 digestion and uh, the, the two strands are in equal length so at termini they don't have any extra an extra unpaid single strand nucleotides hence they are called as a blunt ends right here because of the eco digestion you can see cohesive ends. Because of small one digestion, you can see blunt ends. Right? Hope you understand this lecture. Right? Thank you for listening. If at all you like it, just uh, try to subscribe my channel. That's uh, Dr. K. Prime Primer. See you all again. Until then, bye-bye.